Hi, welcome back to Aglasam channel. Today we will discuss about NCRT solutions for class 7th Social Science Chapter 8, A Shirt in the Market. So in this chapter, we understand how market economy works through a process that undergoes for making of a shirt. Here, the cotton bowls are grown by farmers and then harvested which requires pesticides and fertilizers and to buy these, farmers borrow money from money lenders. After selling the cotton, they earn some money and with that money, he repays the loan and that he has taken. So in this entire process, the farmer gets a very less amount of money. Now, let's begin with the question and answers to know more about this chapter. So our first question is, what made Sapna sell the cotton to the trader instead of selling at the Karnool cotton market? Sapna was a small farmer. She had to take a loan of rupees 2,500 on high interest under the condition to sell her cotton to him. So due to this reason, she sold the cotton to the trader instead of selling it at the Karnool market. The next question is, describe the conditions of employment as well as the wages of workers in the garment exporting factory. Do you think the workers get a fair deal? The answer is, the condition of employment at garment exporting factories are deplorable. The workers are made to work for long hours and are kept on temporary basis so they can be fired at any time. If the employer feels that they are not needed, the workers are paid low wages. They do not get a fair deal as they do not have a job security. Continuing with the next question, think of something common that we use. It could be sugar, tea, milk, pen, paper, pencil, etc. Discuss through what chain of markets this reaches you. Can you think of the people that help in the production or trade? The answer is, here we can take an example of stationery such as pen, pencil, where the shopkeeper buys it from a wholesale market and the wholesaler buys it from the manufacturer. Eventually, consumer buys it from the shop. However, it involves a long chain of markets to reach to the consumer. So you can have your own example on the basis of the experience you have in your daily life. It can be either your milkman who sells milk at your home. Our last question from the exercise is, arrange the statements given alongside in the correct order and then fill in the numbers in the cotton bowls accordingly. The first two have already been done for you. The correct order is shown on the screen. So the first sentence is, Sapna sells the cotton to the trader. Second, Trader sells cotton to the ginning meal. Similarly, ginning meal cleans the cotton and makes it into bales. Fourth, spinning meals buy the cotton and sells yarn to the yarn dealers. Fifth, yarn dealers or merchants give the yarn to the weavers. Sixth, weavers return with the cloth. Seventh, garment exporters buy the cloth from the merchants for making shirts. Eighth, the exporter sells shirts to the business person from the USA. Ninth, customers buy these shirts in a supermarket. So these were all the answers to the questions of chapter 8, a shirt in the market. In case if you have any doubts related to questions discussed, feel free to get back to us by writing in the comment section below. And for other academic support, keep browsing aglasem.com. Thank you.